Hi, welcome to Kitchen Revelations. Today's recipe is the most requested one by all of my subscribers. I am happy that you all liked my previous video that is my grapes wine recipe. It has already crossed 5 lakh views thanking everyone for your support. So since uh, grapes are going out of season, many of them have been requesting to make wine using some other seasonal fruits. So here it is, pineapple wine. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Here I have taken a normal pan instead of pressure cooker. To this I am adding 1.5 liters of boiled water. This is an improvised version. I mean in the uh, grape wine recipe many of them had doubts as to how to make wine without a pressure cooker. So watch till the end for tips. So now the water has started boiling. To this I am going to add 500 grams of pineapple. This is ripe pineapple which has been chopped finely. Also I am using here a wooden ladle which has been kept aside for only making wine. Please do not use other ladles which are used for daily purposes. Now I am going to add 200 grams of sugar. For 500 grams of pineapple I am using 200 grams sugar. You can adjust the quantity of sugar as per your sweet tooth. Next, I am going to add spices, 2 cloves, slightly crushed 3 cardamom pods and 1 inch piece of cinnamon stick. Next is a super secret ingredient that I am going to add that is turmeric. You might wonder why this is being added. Now it is added just for the bright yellow color. Don't worry, it is not going to spoil your wine's flavor or smell in any way. Please ensure that you add just a pinch. So now our mixture has been boiling for since 10 minutes. Pineapple is hard compared to grapes. That is the reason they are being cooked for so long. Boiling pineapple will help in extracting more juices. Yeah. Also if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and click on the bell icon next to it so that you get regular updates. So our pineapple has cooked well. You can see. Uh, it has turned bright yellow in color and also the water has reduced one fourth of its content. So now switch off the flame and allow the juice to cool down. So it has been a couple of hours and the pineapple juice has cooled down completely. Now we are going to take a jar. It is a ceramic jar. You can also use glass jar. Please ensure that you do not use jars that have been used to store pickles. Important thing to remember, please wash and clean the jars well and pat them dry with a kitchen towel before starting this process as water content will spoil your wine. So now transfer this pineapple juice into the ceramic jar. Also ensure that you are using the same wooden ladle or a clean and dried spoon while transferring the contents into the jar. So the next most important step of converting your pineapple juice into wine is adding yeast. I am using here Waysmill Instant Dry Yeast. You can buy it online. The link for it is given in the description box below. An important tip. If you feel at this stage that your pineapple juice is not sweet enough, you can boil some water, add sugar as per your requirement and once it cools down, add it into this pineapple juice. So here I have taken just 1 4 teaspoon of the instant dry yeast add it directly into the pineapple juice in the previous recipe yeast was allowed to ferment and then it was added to the wine but here I have added it directly because I have used here instant dry yeast and in the previous recipe I had used active dry yeast so once you have mixed everything well Close the ceramic jar with its lid. Now take a clean cloth, cover and tie the jar with a thread loosely. This is done to ensure that there is little space for air to enter and the fermentation takes place. At the same time, it does not attract any insects or sunlight. Now keep this wine jar aside for 3 days in a cool and dark place and allow it to ferment into wine. So it's been 3 days 
and uh, let us have a look at how our wine has turned out so our wine has stopped bubbling which means it is ready so it is time to strain the wine For this I am using a clean and dried steel vessel. Please ensure there is no water content in the vessel into which you are going to strain your wine. Also the strainer which I have used is clean and dried. Slightly press the pineapple pieces to extract the remaining juices if any. So here it is, our tasty pineapple wine is ready. Transfer them into glass bottles or used wine bottles. Fill the bottle only up to 3 fourths of its capacity and also do not shut them tightly as gas is generated if any might lead to bottle explosion. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to Kitchen Revelations and also share your feedback or doubts in the comment section below.